What's up everybody? I'm Miranda with REI. There is nothing worse than waking up in the middle of the night when you're at camp because you're too cold to sleep. Not only is it really annoying, but it can also be dangerous. Let's talk about how to stay warm when you're sleeping at camp. So the first thing is probably the most intuitive, and that's to make sure that your sleeping bag is warm enough for the temperatures where you'll be camping. I have a whole separate video on ISO temperature ratings and how sleeping bags are tested and rated, and I'd highly suggest checking that out. So once you have your sleeping bag, it's a good idea to make sure that your sleeping pad is also warm enough. Sleeping pads are severely underrated and they are a crucial part of your sleep system. When you have a sleeping pad that has a high R value or insulation value, that's gonna add a ton of warmth to your bag. Part of this is because the sleeping bags are not test, they're tested with a pad underneath and there isn't as much insulation in the bottom of the bag. This is also because when you sleep on the bag, obviously your body's compressing the bag on the bottom and so that's where the sleeping pad will add additional insulation. There are pads like this one, which have an R value or an insulation value of 5.7 and then pads like this, which have an R value of two. So if you feel like your sleeping bag should be warm enough but you're still sleeping cold, check your sleeping pad to see if that could be the problem. If both your sleeping bag and your sleeping pad have an appropriate temperature rating for the temperatures where you're camping and you're still cold, consider adding a sleeping bag liner. Liners can add up to 25 degrees of warmth to your sleeping bag. I have a 23 degree sleeping bag and I use a 15 degree liner and I feel like with those two combined, I'm pretty much comfortable in all temperatures where I camp. This will also help keep your sleeping bag clean as this is a lot easier to wash than the sleeping bag on its own. So now that you have your sleeping bag, your sleeping pad, and maybe a liner dialed in, let's talk about other tips for sleeping warm at camp. So when sleeping bags are tested and rated, they're tested with a test dummy that is wearing a full set of base layers. So top, bottom, hat, and socks. And I'd suggest you do the same thing when you sleep in your sleeping bag. You can use a wool t-shirt if you feel like you sleep warmer, but I tend to like to sleep in a long sleeve wool base layer and long sleeve wool bottoms as well as wool socks. I also use a buff and a hat when I sleep. So I'll pull the buff on over my ears and then I'll put the hat on top of that and then tuck all of that into the hood of my mummy bag. And it's just a really cozy way to stay warm and it helps block out some noise at camp as well. It's a good idea to have a designated set of sleep clothes rather than the clothes you've been hiking in all day as dry clothes are gonna do a much better job of insulating than damp or dirty clothing. If you have extra space in your sleeping bag, you can also fill that with more dry clothing as that's going to help keep the sleeping bag snug, which then means you don't have to heat as much air around you and overall will keep you warmer. Once you have your sleep wear dialed in, you can try doing some light exercise to get your body temperature up before you go to sleep. A good way to do this is to do a couple sit-ups in your sleeping bag, but don't go crazy and don't do too many because you don't wanna do so many that you wake up physically and mentally, and you definitely don't wanna do so much that you start to sweat. Again, damp clothes, don't insulate well. Once you've done a little bit of exercise, you can have a light snack before going to sleep. Some people will have designated sleep snacks, such as shortbread cookies, as that calories is going to then cause digestion, and digestion actually generates heat, and that will help keep you warm. You can have a hot beverage with your nighttime snack as well, as that will heat you from the inside out. It's a good idea to avoid alcohol though, because alcohol will actually dilate your blood vessels and then that's going to cool you down. If you're sleeping in really cold temperatures or on snow or frozen ground, you can always add a closed cell phone pad like this one. Having a closed cell phone pad between the frozen ground and your air pad is going to add a lot of insulation and protect your air pad from that cold ground. The last tip for sleeping warm at camp is one of my personal favorites, and that's to use your Nalgene as a hot water bottle heater. So it's actually safe to pour boiling water into a Nalgene bottle, and as long as this is sealed really tightly, you can put this into your sleeping bag so that it will warm the sleeping bag before you get in. And then when you get into the bag, you can hold this under your arm or put it between your legs by your femoral artery, and that's gonna help keep you warm throughout the night. I have on good source that these will stay warm sometimes all the way up until the morning. It's just a really really nice thing to sleep with. It's very comfortable. That's it for tips on how to stay warm when you're sleeping at camp. If you have any suggestions of your own, I would love to see them in the comments below. And as always, come in and talk to the local experts at your REI, and I'll see you out there.